So pretty much all of these pivoting style bandsaws work about the same. Some are higher quality than others. The Trajan ones, in my opinion, they're really nice. They're made in Taiwan instead of China. They've got a very high-end electric motor. The problem is this is not immune to the problem that pretty much all of these pivoting saws have which is the whole end pivots on this uh, bolt looking thing here. And then when the saw is like this, sawing through an I-beam or whatever, all the coolant and stuff and all the rust and the sludge and the goop from that cut come down here and they hit this pivot. And the problem is, uh, you know, rust forms in here to the point where now if we take a look at the whole saw, you know, we can raise this up and the issue we have is that it stays, it hangs up. It's not the cylinder, you know, that should go without saying, but nothing can go without saying on the internet. You know, I can move this side to side. It's purely stuck on friction in, in that pivoting mechanism from the rust and the gunk that's built up in there. That's really in there. Just standard M12 threading on the end of this pin. We'll spray some uh, some WD-40 on this so hopefully it'll just slide right in there a little bit better. Can't be having these things vibrate loose as the saw runs. Just a tiny bit of tension and it's in. Both ends are officially greasable. Alright, let's see where this grease comes out of first. Nowhere because the gun is empty. This is disgusting. I see it. Ugh. Ow, ow. Oh, that is rank. But that's the thing, man. It should flush out all the crap that gets stuck in here and previously bound it up. Ugh. All right, let's see how it works. Now keep in mind, before, we can put this thing up and it would stay there. And the problem is we have to put so much force, like so many weights off the end of this thing, and then it makes our cuts all cattywampus. Oh. That is 10 times, that's more than 10 times better. We gotta get some more slack in this power cord. Wow, that is great. This is probably one of the weirdest things you guys have ever watched, what I'm doing right here. Ah, it still works. <laughs> yes! Alright, it's been moved around. Let's uh, hit it with more grease and then we're done. Alright, that's pretty well spread around in there by now, or at least as well as it's going to get. So, we'll just wipe all the splooge up and then make sure the grease gun is empty for next time. And then, uh, we're <laughs> about done is what I refer to is Texas milkshake. Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, that is so disgusting. Oh, all <laughs> over my tools and everything. Yeah, so we learned a valuable lesson. If you have tools that use uh, even water-based coolant like this, it's probably a good idea to replace the coolant every, I don't know, six months, 12 months, 15 months if you're using them for commercial service. Oh, that is so gross! Oh! Oh, there's just a layer in the bottom of this thing. Uh, at least nothing's growing in it. I've seen... That I've we know seen, of. I, I've seen pictures of that happening in machine shops. <laughs>